Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Before I start, first kill graphic novel. Just got the Kane and White variant cover the other day. I'm telling you, that one major thing a day, that is the best schedule to have. Just do one thing that's significant each day and then answer emails here and there and stuff like that. So today it's getting all of the people from the Zach Friday sale and putting their add-ons onto the backers list of the campaigns they have already supported. So Dan Slott this morning tweeted, well, that was an important thing I just wrote up. I don't know why they still talk like a guest star on a Joss Sweden show from 25 years ago. Well, that was a thing that just happened. Well, that was an important thing I just wrote up. When it becomes a massive multi-quadrant superhero movie, gets red carpet premieres, sequels, and makes $3 billion, I'll smile and think back fondly to this day. From the cardboard refrigerator box I'll be calling home. So the reason I didn't do very many videos this week is that there just isn't a lot to talk about. There's no major events. There's no really important books to review. There's no really cringy books to review. Although someone did send me a link to a graphic novel from 1992 called Spider-Man Fear Itself, in which Baron Zemo is brought back in the body of a woman. So Spider-Man was literally fighting a transgender Nazi. <laughs> but I tried to read that book and it was just torture. There's no major beefs right now. There's no major goofs or gaffes from the usual suspects. They're all just kind of quietly tweeting again while pretending they didn't dramatically leave the platform two weeks ago. The common thing to say was, I'm not going to use this anymore, but I'm just going to keep my account open so that someone doesn't steal it. So one thing I've got to ask, because Dan Slott, just on page rate, royalties from 10 years of Spider-Man, and the money he's made because he's written animation scripts, he's written for video games. Several million dollars has gone into his bank account over the course of his career. And when he's joking about a cardboard box, it's because we've gotten dozens of times, creators specifically at Marvel have said, when my idea was used not just in a movie, but the entire movie was based around my storyline, my ideas, they sent me a check for $5,000 and invited me to the premiere. One of the things you consistently realize when you are covering the comic book industry is that the general intelligence level is low. It is far below that of the general populace. So one person said how much they paid for rent in regards to what percentage it was of their paycheck. The thing that was shocking is that they made as much last year as I made 30 years prior working at McDonald's, not adjusted for inflation. The same amount per year, 30 years apart. Has Dan ever done a creator-owned book? Ever? I can't think of even one. I mean, even Vita started in creator-owned books. But man, she would rather go back to being a cashier than do another creator-owned book because you don't get money which she already doesn't get, but you don't get clout or attention. It is becoming extremely evident how many pros who have worked for 10, 20, 30, 40 years have nothing. They've been to the top of the mountain on things that other people created, but apparently nobody saved a goddamn thing. Do not spend your entire life working for a corporation, even if they bump you up to a thousand page page rate. Because they're going to take that $1,000, they're going to go make a million off of that. And you're going to be in your late 50s crying about it on the social media platform that you did the dramatic sachet out on two and a half weeks ago. Also, just a little note, I almost missed this. Holy shit! Your profile pic is a corporate trademark. This is the part where you make yourself distinct. Why you try to tell us why we should like you versus a random person from Home Depot. This is how you identify yourself. Dan Slott, Spider-Man writer, got She-Hulk to practice superhuman law. Wrote the first Spider-Verse comics. Co-creator of Silk. You did everything but get actually branded like cattle by Marvel. Like, holy shit, 
Do you exist except for your connection to Marvel? And when you are a simp at this level, why should Marvel ever do anything than give you what to them is chump change and pat you on your little bald head? This is embarrassing. Anyway, before I go, first kill graphic novel, link is in the description.